Useless. And when you meet with the Ministry of Civil Affairs, please remind them that the festivities are not an excuse to procrastinate their work. Understood, Miss Ganyu. I'll take my leave now. Ganyu! What brings you here, Yao Yao? I've brought all the medicine you asked me to pick for you. Oh, and here's a pack of sweet flower seeds as well. Uh, also, also, these dried Qingshen leaves make a great pot of tea that's very good for you. I know you've had a lot to deal with at work recently, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you're not careful, you'll end up falling asleep in the grass again. Well, this is weird. It's like a responsible younger sister talking to their disorganized older sister. Uh, ahem. Thank you, but Paimon's criticism is quite valid. I do have a tendency to neglect matters outside of work, and that's something I should improve on. Oh, my apologies. I don't believe we've been introduced. Ah, Paimon will do the honors. Hmm. What's wrong? Did Paimon go over everything a bit too fast? It's definitely an ambitious plan. If there's anything you didn't quite catch, Paimon's more than happy to go over it again. Huh. It may be... a little difficult to make this happen. Oh? Well, the Lantern Rite is the most important festival of the year. Our celebrations must not only be visually spectacular, but also appeal to the tastes of Leoa citizens from all walks of life. The Iridescence Tour is relatively unknown in Leoa. It's difficult to predict how a brand new show will be received. It would be quite risky for us to bet everything on this one music festival. <sighs> all very valid points. I completely understand. Therefore, we will not replace or cancel any of our pre-existing program. However, I will submit a proposal requesting to put the Iridescence Tour special performance as the final act of this year's festivities. Some live music will certainly add to the festive atmosphere on the night of the Lantern Rite. As for the venue... Hmm... Let's reserve a space at the docks. Yes, my thoughts precisely. Now I just need to take some time to give this proposal some polish. As long as I clearly lay out the pros and cons, and highlight the key points of the proposal, given that Ping and the Traveler have both given the idea their blessing, I'm confident that Qixing will be sure to give it serious consideration. Mr. Dvorak, I will need to discuss with you the number of musicians who will be coming to Liyue, as well as their catering and accommodation requirements. Oh, yes, certainly. Let's step to the side and discuss further. As soon as there's work to do, Ganyu's as diligent as ever. I couldn't agree more. Master once said that everyone has things that they are good at and things that they are less good at. So, with that in mind, Ganyu shouldn't feel compelled to become perfect at absolutely everything. I'm good at taking care of people, so that can be left to me. Wow. Hey, Yo-Yo, can you take care of Paimon too? Paimon's getting hungry again. I'm afraid my backpack's empty now, but if you let me know what you like, I can bring you some of your favorite dishes next time we meet. Apart from lotus flower crisps, what else do you like? Anything sweet, and anything that's made from slimes! <laughs> Here's what I've drafted so far. Anything else you want to add? No, this is excellent. I'm racking my brains, but I don't think you've missed a single thing. Perfect. Then we'll leave it as is. I'll go make an official copy. Oh, perfect timing. We were just wrapping up our discussion here. Not at all. Every second counts for a complex proposal such as this. I will inform the Qixing of this development immediately. 
Please give me a moment to pass on the message. Yao Yao, thank you for bringing my herbs. I will make sure to take them. Remember to make tea from them first, Ganyu. You mustn't just chew them raw. Uh, I... I will. Okay, I should be getting back. If Yao Yao stays out for too long, Mom and Dad will be worried sick. Everyone, I'm sure that the music festival will go off without a hitch, so don't worry. And in case I don't see you before, I wish you all a very happy Lantern Rite. Thank you, Yao Yao. Happy Lantern Rite to you, too. We should go get dinner together sometime! That lady I just talked to, Ganyu? She really thinks of everything. It got me wondering. Could it be that all our failed attempts so far have been down to our failure to properly prepare for different contingencies? Greetings, Traveler, Paimon, and Mr. Dvorak. Call me Kuching. Ganyu has brought me up to speed on everything. I'll get straight to the point. The Qixing have approved Ganyu's proposal. Over the next few days, I will be working with Mr. Dvorak on behalf of the Qixing to facilitate the organization of this concert. Yay! That's awesome! <laughs> Please. The Qixing have a duty to deal with matters such as these. We have merely moved things forward to the next step. On a more personal note, I am an avid supporter of all things new and innovative. As such, it is my privilege to work with you on this exciting project. Thank you so much, Kuching. I'd become quite discouraged after our recent failures and was expecting the same outcome once again, so I didn't dare to get my hopes up. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined this going so smoothly. It's like a dream come true. Right, time for me to call in the performers. To stage a concert at a high-profile event like this is a rare opportunity. We'll make sure it's a night to remember. Yes! Our music man's finally getting fired up! Yes, indeed. I know exactly what I'm doing from here. For a musician, music will always be the language they are most fluent in. Oh, that. Well, that can wait for another time. Oh. Ganyu? What's wrong? They told me all about Mr. Dvorak's situation, but I was so engrossed in drafting the proposal that I forgot all about it. Oh, that's quite all right. I, I don't even know what the person I'm trying to find looks like, so it was always going to be a long shot. Don't worry about me, Ganyu. Your time and energy are needed elsewhere. I, I'm sure you already have plenty to deal with between this concert and everything else going on during the Lantern Rite. Thanks. It was just that I had a few initial thoughts when I heard your story. For instance, I wonder if this lady your ancestor met might have been an adeptus. What do you think? To tell you the truth, Mr. Dvorak, I am somewhat related to the Adepti myself. I am part human and part Chilin. The Chilin is an illuminated beast. I know how important your quest to get in touch with your roots must be to you because I've been there myself before, trying to find out where I belonged. Did you say the Adepti? And your illuminated beast, part Chilin? Are you telling me all the rumors of the Liyue Adepti are real? So it's not just artistic license? You bet they're real! Trying to track them down is tough, though. Like Julian Karst itself. There's nothing specifically stopping you from going there, but getting in and out of there is quite an ordeal. Yes. Anyway, if you're looking to uncover a lost melody or shine light on a forgotten aspect of Leo's cultural history, I'm probably not the best person to ask. But if it's a person you're looking for, then I just might be able to help. I see. I think I understand the situation now. 
In that case, Ganyu, shall we divide the work between us? Yes, that was also my thought. Great. So Mr. Dvorak and I will concentrate on things here in the city to make sure the concert goes according to plan. In the meantime, Ganyu will reach out to our network and try to find the person he's looking for. How's your workload at the moment? Will you be able to make time? I can probably get through everything in... two days. As long as I don't sleep. Wait, what do you mean, as long as I don't sleep? Even for someone with illuminated beast blood in their veins, working for such an extended period without a break will take its toll on your health. Somehow that does not sound persuasive coming from Kuching. Be it but three moons from the start, he who returns is not he that departs. Hmm. Even I know the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. In that case, three days. All right, I can work with that. If you have the time, would you join me for this search? You're well known to many of the Adepti and respected among the people. I'll feel much more at ease with your company. Okay, then let's meet back here in three days. Watch this space, Mr. Dvorak. We'll get to the bottom of this. You're all so helpful and kind. I, I really... I just... Just think. Imagine if we found the Adeptus Lady or one of her descendants and got them to come to the performance. Wouldn't that be amazing? It'd be such a happy reunion. And that's exactly what this festival's all about. You're right. Okay, I'm going to pull out all the stops to make this lantern ride a true extravaganza. We should probably get going. Mr. Dvorak, could you come with me to confirm the site? Ooh, we're coming to you! I was wondering, what are your thoughts on music? What does it mean to you? Uh, music sounds nice? <laughs> Truth be told, the question of what music means to people is one that I've been pondering for quite some time. Let's revisit this question after the concert.
Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. Iwen, what is it? Per Lady Ningguang's orders, I've been gathering intelligence outside of the city with the goal of uncovering and dispatching any trouble ahead of the festival. I am told that a strange melody was heard somewhere along the coast. I was wary of investigating further on my own, so I was just on my way to report this incident to Lady Ningguang. But I'm worried that if we don't act right away, we may miss the window of opportunity to take appropriate action. I understand. In that case, I... Yeah, Kuching. You're busy enough as it is. There's a ton of different things in the city that needs your attention. Leave it to us. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we'll definitely be able to handle it. Uh, well, he will handle it. With the Traveler on the case, it's as good as dealt with. Thank you. This will be a great help. I will inform Lady Ningguang about the situation. Once it's resolved, please come and find me again at Yujing Terrace and let me know. Will do! And say hi to Ningguang for us! You have my thanks, too. Stay safe and come back as soon as you're finished. Good luck. She said she'll reach out to the Yunhan Opera Troupe? Huh, I see. Then I'll arrange for a rehearsal venue and accommodation as soon as possible. Everything should be ready tonight. Many thanks, Kuching. <laughs> you know, I once heard someone from Liyue describe a person as swift as lightning and agile as the wind. At the time, I thought it was a curious expression, and I had a hard time piecing together a mental image of such a person. But now, having seen Kuching in action, I honestly can't think of any other way to describe it. It's such a vivid and expressive phrase, a testament to the richness of Liyue's culture. You're too kind, Mr. Dvorak. She said she'll reach out to the Yunhan op, then I'll- Many thanks, <laughs> You know, I once heard some- but now- <laughs> You're too kind- 